Okay, so what's what are we ready for? We're ready for this thing here. And like I said, there's directions on the back of this, and we're probably going to have to read these. We are. Okay, and we got the universal one, and we're hoping that it's going to fit. And voila, here's the directions, the handy dandy directions. And there's some more things in here. We have not done this before. See, there's a little, there's a little Allen wrench here. There's a, a plastic threaded goodie here. We might not even use that. That might be if we're if we're in with a galvanized pipe or something. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to have to do this. So we're going to sit here and read the directions for a minute. I believe that's what we're going to do. Yes. Ooh, look at that. See that that comes out. We're gonna. Ooh. Oops. Something else fell out. We're going to have to close that drain. I don't want to fish yeah. anything out of there. Yes. Keep your drain closed in the tub if you can. Okay. And i got to remember how all this stuff went back together. I believe that was on that, and then that goes down in there. Cool. Okay. So, so we're going to read the directions and see how this works, because I believe this fitting gets put on here like that. We're going to have to slip that on there. And I think there's a little set screw on there, right there. Okay. So we'll take a few minutes here and get right back to you. Starting to... What on earth? You've got a Brillo pad. She has a Brillo pad here. We're trying to clean off a burr on the copper pipe. And it's actually kind of working, but if you have some emery cloth, you can use that or some sandpaper. Even if you had a small little file or something like that. Unfortunately, we don't. A hacksaw blade would even kind of cut that little edge off. We've got to get that little bit off, and I think she's almost done it. And that's just a cleaning Brillo pad that she's using right here. Wow, that's actually cleaning the copper pipe off. Look how clean that copper pipe's getting right there. Okay, we're gonna get that. There's a slight burr right there. We're trying to we're trying to get the little sleeve. There's a sleeve that has to be pushed on there that we have to tighten up with an Allen wrench. We're having a hard time getting it by there. We're gonna keep working on this. We'll get it. Okay, cool. We've got it all sanded down and the edge of the burrs off. And now the next thing, when you read your directions, yours might be slightly different than this, but this was the universal one. We're going to have this next and it says to put this on almost flush to the wall. And then there's that little set screw there and it actually came with the, with the Allen wrench for that set screw. Okay, Mommy, you can put that on there now. I am. Here's the little set. All right. The Allen wrench. She's going to slip that on there. That's why we had to get those burrs off. And, you know, this thing's like 30 years old. It had some edges on there from the last set screw. So we're going to make that almost flush to the wall, like it said. And it showed that the set screw is facing up. And we're going to go ahead and try that because it said when we tighten all this, we want to hand tighten everything when we get all done. Okay on the spout because the spout once we put the spout on slightly different than the other one remember the other one if you were watching the previous video you will have noticed that we had to undo the set screw on the spout first but see this new spout there's a slot here there is no set screw on here is there it's just plastic right okay so when the plastic goes on there we're going to tighten that up by hand okay but before we do that Gonna get that set screw tight. And then it actually gave us some Teflon tape. So we're gonna put some Teflon tape on that. Okay, I don't know if you really have to do the Teflon tape because it's plastic threads. It's plastic threads in here and there's a washer goodie in here. Okay, the next step, okay, you got that, that set screw on there pretty tight. I do. Okay, and it says to make that as tight as you can without trying to puncture the actual copper, obviously if you have galvanized, it's going to be slightly different. Where's that little set screw? Let me, let me just take a, a quick check of her work. See how she did. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Good job. 
Okay. I'm glad you approve. I approve. See there? There's some... Oh, she's got her little eyeglasses on. Yes, this is the Teflon tape it came with. Okay, do you know, have you ever put Teflon tape on before? Okay, wait before you do it. I think so. Okay, but you know what? There's a right and wrong way for everything. Well, then I don't know. There's a right way to put it. And Tell you know which me. way? You want to put it so that the tape is here and it goes this direction. Okay, so the end of it is going to go that direction. So the first part of it is going to go, yes, that way, because I saw you were going to do it the other way. Okay, you want to put it so that it's just on the threads and it kind of gives us this long because remember the rubber washer is going to push right up against that. Right. So put the white here. You might have to take that off and just put the white edge from there over. Yeah, like, kind of tricky. Like here? Like yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So that it's not hanging over? Yeah, exactly. Okay, now you can... You can wrap that around, zip it around there a couple right. times very carefully. Because see, that now once we tighten it, can you see? That when we tighten on there, it's going to tighten the actual Teflon tape on there as we're tightening on the spout. You see what I mean? If you were to put that Teflon tape on the other direction, it, yeah, would, it would loosen the Teflon tape as yes. you're tightening. I see. I think yeah. I'm going to break it off. Now. Okay, yeah. Three, maybe three times around it. You got go about three times. You, I think you did. I don't know. No, I didn't. Okay, go I one. How, how about one more? This is this Teflon tape is kind of thin. You can get this at a hardware store on a, on a little roll, but fortunately for us, they gave it to us. Okay, now you can kind of grab it and pull it, snap it off. There you go. Look at that. Good Yay. job. Okay, Teflon Yay. tape. Just like that. I like that. Now they gave us extra Teflon tape and I'm not quite sure. I don't think we have to do it down here. But see, this actually, uh, I had it unscrewed before, but that was before we did a little test. I don't know if I can get it. I don't think I can get it back off. Because <laughs> the other side of this had, had, uh, threads too. Let's read the directions and I'll make sure that the threads down in here, if we have enough Teflon tape, I could put it on there too. It's really, you know, that's usually for something that's under pressure and stuff, but that's just going to be the water coming out of here, so it's probably fine. But we're going to look at the directions and check it out. Okay, we looked on the directions. and See, this was loose to begin with. And sure enough, the direction said to put Teflon tape on these threads too. See the threads there? And there's a washer goodie that fits down in there, okay? So, we're going to wrap Teflon tape on here too. And, of course, as you're looking at it, we're going to go the very same direction. So, as you're tightening this, as you're tightening this in, you want the threads, the tape, to go on the right direction, okay? So, you, you're going to wrap that. We're going to go this way. Yeah, start from there. Where's the end of it? Right where's, there. Where's the end of the tape? Right here. Oh, your left one? Oh, that was the oh, oh, okay. The other one. Okay. Do you want me to cut yeah, it? No, no, you're, you're okay. It's kind of hard. We're, we're trying, we're trying two to... Two people uh, holding it. Yeah, why are we doing that? I have we no are, but idea. I don't know. Can I do it? Yeah, you can. Okay, can hold on to it a little bit, or else it might slip. Okay. See how she's wrapping it that direction? So when we screw it in there and tighten it up, the, the Teflon tape is going the same way at the end. Okay. That's about three. Okay. Is now you good? can Yeah, you can break that off now. You just kind of stretch it. Ooh, look at her. Okay, just kind of finish off the end. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take that. We're going to screw that in there. Until it's snug or yeah. until it's tight. Until it's snug. 
And we can take our handy dandy wrench here. See how there's two little sides to that? We can just hold on to that like that. And then I can give that, I can just screw it in. It said hand tighten. You don't want it any tighter than that. Okay, like that. Okay, now we can take this and screw it onto that. Would you like to do the honors? I do, thank you. Okay. Alright. And it says we're going to do it hand tight. And I'm hoping that once it's hand tight, the spout is going in the right direction. Because if it's not, we may have to decide to take that set screw piece and maybe move it one way or another. You know what I mean? And this, this board kind of flexes in because it's part of a tub enclosure. So we're going to see how it does. How's it feeling? Go around again, huh? I think so. Holy cow. That's about as snug as it needs does it to feel, be. Does it feel pretty tight? Well, see, if somebody, if some kid comes in here and messes with it, if you can turn it like that, that's still not tight. Too tight. Okay, but I I'm think... Gonna, Okay. That. There. See? You're going. Okay, stop. I think that's it. There. That's good. Take a look at that. Make sure it's going straight down. How's that look? Looks great. That looks pretty good. Now, see, other tub spouts, you may have to do a set screw in here, but this one didn't have it. That, I'm liking that. I do too. I think you did pretty good there. Thank you. Hey, so let's. Shall we try it out? Uh, sure. Let's try it out. All right, ready? Yep. Voila! Yay! Look at that! Okay, let's see if the shower works. Pull that deal. Pop that up. Takes a couple seconds for it to fill up, and there it is. Yay! That's how you replace the tub spout on an older style tub. This tub's about 30 years old. Okay. I'm liking that. Perfect. Well, you know what? I think we're done with the project. We are. Thank you so much for helping me, Mommy. Thank you. Bye, video, Joe. Hey, what are you doing? That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. <laughs> High five. Ding!